Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 10.5, one sample t-test. The one sample t-test is done when you wish to compare your sample data to a statistical population when you know just the mean of that population. For instance, the data in table 10.6 estimates from one day food diaries the amount of the vitamin folate ingested by male students living in the Balkans. We wish to ask if the sample data is consistent with the estimated UK mean intake for folate of 150 micrograms per day. I have already entered the data from table 10.6 into Minitab. To do the test, we need to track up to stat, click, down to basic statistics, and then across and down to one sample t-test, and click. I need to tell it which data we're going to look at. I'm going to click in this window and select the C1 folate intake and select it with a selection button. I now need to tell Minitab what the mean is going to be. I'm going to tick the perform hypothesis test and then enter my value of 150 into the window that becomes available. I now press OK. We can see that Minitab has given us a p-value of 0.012. So what is the meaning of the p-value? A p-value of 1 means we can accept the null hypothesis as true, whereas a p-value of 0 means we can accept the null hypothesis as untrue. As we travel from a p-value of 1 to 0, the transition point between true and untrue is set at 0.05 in the biological sciences. The smaller the p-value below 0.05, the more confident we can be in rejecting the null hypothesis. A p-value of 0.012 is below our transition value of 0.05, suggesting the result is significant and that we can reject our null hypothesis and that there is a difference between the daily intake of folate in male students from the Balkans whilst living at home compared to mean intake in the UK. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the programme to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.